Hey guys, Buffin Gaming back, bringing another video today for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to be covering the new SMG release with Season 2, the Striker 45, and showing how this is at base a LWRC SMG 45, not a UMP. So I'm going to show you how to build the attachments for IRL build, and we'll go ahead and get into the recoil patterns as well as look at see how it handles in game against bots. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So here's our final design for the LWRC. 45 and it stands for land warfare resource corporation international smg 45 so again this is not a ump 45 i see everybody reporting this is a ump 45 it is a lwrc smg 45 so first off how do we unlock this if i back out to my multiplayer menu here i will go to our battle pass this is online for free at tier 31 in the battle pass and here you can see striker 45 as the lwrc 45 so at base this is not a ump however as i mentioned in yesterday's video for the sig 550 if we go to the very last tier here for level 100 the undertaker blueprint for the striker 45 does turn it more so into a ump 45 and there's several differences with this particular blueprint including the the rear sights the iron sights there that we see as well as a stock and some other differences here the magwell that we'll get into when we cover this weapon but this more so cosmetically turns into a ump 45 but at base, the striker is the LWRC SMG 45. So now let's back out and go back into our game and we'll build this thing from scratch. So here we have our final design. What I'm gonna do is strip this down to the base weapon. And now we're gonna go ahead and start off with the muzzle. Now for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put a tactical suppressor on this weapon. And what that's gonna do is obviously give us a tactical suppressor. And you can see in real life, you can attach a suppressor with this and shoot suppress with a muzzle booster or a nielsen device which it almost looks if i go out and preview it does this on some of the weapons so i can't tell if they're doing this to simulate a booster or a nielsen device or it's just the way they're designing it on some of these guns but it looks like there is a booster on the end of this weapon right before the suppressor on the barrel so that's pretty cool we're going to go ahead and, and select the tactical suppressor what that's going to do is give us sound suppression as well as the cons being aim down sight speed, as well as aim walking movement speed, which we can go ahead and accept those. Next up for the barrel, we're gonna go ahead and stay with the base barrel for this. You have options for 300 millimeter, 400 millimeter, and 150 millimeter. So at base, this is, the barrel in real life is eight and a half inches, which I believe equates to around two, a little bit over 200 millimeters, about 208 or 250 millimeters in there. So it's, not quite as so we see the short barrel at 150 millimeters versus the base barrel you can see it's just a little bit longer so it's maybe 200 meters at best so they do that they do this with a lot of attachments of the game is make them not quite to spec so we can do different variations of it so we're going to go ahead and accept that base barrel length just understand that it is not to spec with the irl build now for the laser this is more so personal opinion what i'm going to do is go ahead and put a you can really i would recommend any of these but for my personal preference, I'm going to just put a 5 milliwatt laser on here. So this is going to assist us with the pros being hip fire accuracy as well as sprint to fire speed. And the cons being laser visible at enemies only when you're at the hip. So if you're ADSing or sprinting, that laser will not be visible. Another good one that I really love to always usually run is the tactical suppressor, which is going to assist with the ADS speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. And again, that's going to be visible when you are ADSing, only when you're ADSing. But... Either of these I would recommend just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and do the five milliwatt laser. Now for the optic, again, this is personal preference. Um, a lot of the things I've seen with this weapon, you can run, you can run something like a holographic. You can also run um, the operator reflex. Another really good one here is the PBX hollow seven sight, which is the Amer another American sight. What I'm going to do is run the simulated, the aim point optic. So this is basically the aim op reflex sight IRL. It's an aim point optic. This is all personal preference. This is one that's going to give you precision sight picture as well as the ADS speed is going to be the con for any sight that you put on this weapon. So go ahead and select that. Now the stock, we're going to keep the base stock for this weapon. You can see a couple of the objects here being the FFS Guardian, the FTAC Precision Stock, as well as the XRK Gen 3 Survivalist Stock, which is something very similar to the uh, skeleton stock that we see on the base M13, as well as some other weapons there. But we're gonna go ahead and stay with the the base stock for this one. Now this stock is actually unique to the LWCRI SMG 
45. It is a SB Tactical Folding Subgun Brace with the AWRC adapter. So this one is obviously a folding stock. You can see you would hit the release right there on the left-hand side, and that would fold to the left, bringing this thing to under well under 15 inches in length when the stock is folded to the side. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on there. We also have the strap on the back of the butt pad there as well. And then we're going to go ahead and skip out on the perk. No special perks for this weapon. Just the standard perks are added on this. Now the rear grip, you have a couple interesting choices here. Um, again, some of what we showed with the SIG 550 yesterday on the new Grau 556. You have the FTAC 60 series polymer, which is going to be your aiming stability and aim walking steadiness, as well as the cons being aim walking movement speed. The FTAC G5 XO, which is basically something very similar to a skeleton pistol grip. That's going to be your ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. Then you have the FTAC 60 series rubber, which is your recoil control. So for the purposes of this, I'm just going to leave the base stock. So the LW, the LWCRI in real life has its own uh, unique pistol grip on here, which has... You can see uh, when I show this on screen, it has an ultra combat grip is what the, what the company calls it. And they don't have, we don't have the exact replica of it in game, but I think the base pistol grip is the best we're going to get. So again, this is personal preference, but to build it as close to IRL specs, we're going to just leave the base. Now for the ammo, we're also going to leave the base 25 round UMP stick mag here for the 45 ACPs. But other options you have is the 45 hollow point, which comes with a 12 round R mag. And then you also have a 45 round option for the 45 round ACP. So we're going to just leave it with the base UMP 45 stick mag. And that is what this weapon takes is H and K UMP 45 stick mag. So that's what we see here. That's really the only outward uh, exact thing that's being used on the LWC RI versus the UMP. And then for the underbarrel, again, this is really personal preference. I'm going to go ahead and put a combat foregrip on here just to make it, I think it pleases the weapon more aesthetically, not putting a, a huge grip on the end, although the Ranger foregrip is also one of my favorites, but we're going to use the combat foregrip. This is going to assist with the pros being recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability, the cons being movement speed. So you're not taking a hit with ADS speed with the commando foregrip here, as well as the tactical foregrip. However, we do want that recoil stabilization and stability that you're getting with the commando foregrip versus the tactical. So I think that's the better choice. And I think overall, aesthetically, this looks pretty nice. So this is the LW, you can see here the LWRCI SMG 45. Let's go ahead now and that we have this built, let's go ahead and get in game, see how it handles with the recoil patterns as built here. Then we'll get in game and see how it handles in game against bots as well as some real life weapon facts about the weapon. Okay, now that we're in game with our LWRCI SMG 45, let's go ahead and see how the recoil pattern handles. So first off, I'm just going to aim and let this thing rip and not control the vertical recoil. So you can see there, it goes straight vertical, a little bit hard left, and then vertical again. So now let's try and control it. Okay, one more time. Oh, let's start again, that was bad. Okay, so you can see the rate of fire on this is obviously very low. However, it hits hard with that 45 ACP. Now, if we jump up to it, you can see that's me controlling the muzzle spread there. This is the not controlling it going up hard left and then vertical again. So we'll use this last magazine and let it rip one, one more time. So again, not too hard to control. Again, this is going to put people down pretty quick. And then we have our Akimbo Glock 21s here as well. So... That is the recoil pattern for the Striker 45 or the LWRCI SMG 45. Let's go ahead, jump in game against bots, see how it handles, get into some real life facts about the weapon. Okay, now that we're in game with our LWRCI SMG 45, let's go ahead and see how it handles in game here against bots. So again, while outwardly this may resemble the UMP 45, it's actually built off of an AR platform and it does have a unique gas operating system to LWRC. It's their own in-house design. Oops. 
So you can see that the rate of fire is slow, it's easy to control the recoil, and it hits really hard. So the... Oh. Oh, so in real life, although this uses UMP style magazines, we talked about using the 25 round stick mags for the UMP. The SMG 45 model is built on the AR platform and it uses LWRC's in house short recoil delayed blowback operating system. So, very similar to what I think they use in their M6 series of weapons, which is an assault rifle version of the M, based on the M4, sharing 80% of the parts. So, again, this is. A modernized, I guess you could call it a modernized version of the UMP. Brand new weapon that has just released has been being teased by the company for years now and uh, has just recently shipped to distributors. Ouch. So, some other facts about the weapon. Obviously, this takes 45 ACP. The weight overall for this weapon is 5.9 pounds. There we go. Overall length is 15.25 inches when the when the stock is collapsed on the weapon or folded to the right hand side of the gun. When it's extended or unfolded, it's going to be 26 inches. Enemy at the back alley. You can see very easy to control. It obviously handles very similar to the UMP45 from the past Call of Duty titles, but being a different weapon. Now, the barrel length is 8.5 as we talked about. So the IRL barrel length is a little bit longer than what we have in game. You can also see that with the handguard on this weapon too appears to be just a little bit shorter to accommodate the shorter barrel on this weapon. Let's see how it is at range here. So it handles pretty well at range too. Very easy to control the recoil. In real life, the height of the weapon is 7.75 inches through 11.30 depending on what attachments you have on there. The width for the weapon is going to be 2.4 to 3.4, depending if it's folded or not. I guess all the bots are using shotguns today. I don't know. The muzzle thread is 578 through 28 RH. The rifling is 1 16th RH with six grooves. So, there we go. So again, this is a short recoil delayed blowback operating system that we talked about, which is unique to LWRC's in-house design, as well as 8.5 inch cold hammer chromium st steel barrel, which the weapon uses. And again, it does take those UMP45 stick mags also. Got a personal radar drone ready for escort. Now, if you notice, it does have the Picatinny rails at three, six, and nine o'clock on the weapons, so you can put whatever sights or grips you want on that, and we can see we're utilizing Almost all of those with the, the foregrip, the laser on the weapon, as well as the aim point sight on top. So you can see, this the description behind the Striker 45 is that it handles well at range, and it's going to allow more range than any other SMG in the game. You can see here... Even with these attachments that I have on here are not the best, but you can see how it handles excellent at range with very little recoil. And especially some of the other attachments, like if you wanted to put those longer barrels on there, it would obviously re be even better at range than what we have with this particular build. So again, it shoots suppressed with a muzzle booster or a Nielsen device, which we have on there with the tactical suppressor, at least cosmetically it looks like it. Yeah, the fire controls are completely ambidextrous. So if you saw when we were reviewing the weapon there, the select fire options as well as the magazine, or the, the, the select fire options along with the uh, safety select fire are all ambidextrous as well as there's one other p portion of it that's ambidextrous on the lower there. The whole entire lower is ambidextrous for this weapon. Oh, thought that was a guy. So you can see there, about a four shot kill at close range like that here in the core game mode. So it definitely uh, handles pretty, I heard a guy, there we go. Oh man, that's 725, can't get away from it. So right there you saw we hit, we used a cocking handle with that weapon, now the, I uh, thought that was a guy. Let's see, so the magazine release is a paddle underneath the, in front of the trigger guard there. And again, the entire lower of this weapon is completely ambidextrous in real life. 
Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta love it when the bots are using 725s. Enemy at the shop. So again, it has that paddle style mag release that we talked about for easy load and mag change. Uh, very similar to like what we see on the AK series and some other weapons as well. We actually saw it on the Grar 556 or the SIG 550, 552, the 550 series in general in yesterday's video. So. Again, this is the LWRC International SMG 45. Brand new weapon in real life and in this game. So let me know what you guys think of this weapon down below in the comments. Let me know if you've used this before. If you use this, have you unlocked this yet? I know it is unlocked at tier 31, so most people aren't going to be there yet. Also, just to note, as we talked about, every, a lot of people are calling this the UMP-45, which it is not. It is incorrectly being called the UMP-45 by almost the entire community right now, which is an easy mistake because it does look extremely similar. However, it is a completely different weapon. Although the, it does take UMP-45 stick magazines. Now, one other thing to know is that the select fire in real life is different than what we see in-game because in-game it actually does use the UMP-45 select fire so i'm not sure if they did that just to make it more compatible with the ump blueprint we get with the undertaker or if that was a mistake but in real life the select fire is actually different than what we see on this particular weapon and here we have our akimbo glock 21s there which you can saw you saw did pretty good damage at range so let me know what you guys think of this weapon have you Unlocked and played around with it in a custom game yet. Do you plan on using this? I think this is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. I do like the Growl 556, but um, I, oh, I just love the way this one handles a lot better than, than that. So let me know what you guys think down below. Also be sure to follow the social media links down below as well for the Discord. We have Discord, Twitter, as well as Instagram down there. Personal radar coverage. Oh. There we go. We got him. Personal radar been shot down. We've lost overall. Got a personal radar drone ready for us. So overall, I think this weapon handles really well. I think this is one of my favorite guns so far. I've always been a proponent of the slower firing weapons that hit harder. So things like the SCAR, the AK-47 in previous games, and this one. I've always gone for those over the faster rate of fire weapons like we see with the M4 in this particular game. So this is definitely going to be one of my favorites going forward. I'm excited to get my hands on this at tier 31. So again, let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for this weapon? Are you excited for the Undertaker blueprint, which cosmetically more so resembles the UMP-45? Oh, darn. So again, they did also add the Akimbo perks to the pistols that we can see here with the Glock 21s that I have configured more so for Glock 18s. And again, you can unlock those just by leveling up your pistols one more level for the perk slot. So that'll be the last perk unlocked. So if you have fully unlocked pistols, you should only have one more level to go then. So let me know what you guys think. Also, big tease for Battle Royale yesterday. It's actually expected to, rumors are saying, release this week. So let me know if you guys are excited for that. I know I'm really excited for those survivalist uh, type games. I love BR. I love a survival game. Like I say from Tarkov, I'm having a blast with. So let me know what you guys think of Battle Royale. Are you excited for that or will you play it or not? Um, the rumor is that it was actually rumored to possibly release today, but it may be sometime this week or next. So rumors are saying that the leakers are saying it's going to, or the inside sources, I should say, are saying that it's going to release sooner than anyone expects. So it'll be interesting to see when that does drop. We'll definitely be doing live streams. But let me know what you guys think of Season 2 in general. Are you ex happy with what we have for the battle stream? you happy for any of the weapons that we have here? We got that last kill. There we go. So, again, this is Buffer Gaming with the LWRCI SMG 45, not the UMP 45. And until next time, Buffner Gaming. Ow.